Throughout the past 10 to 15 years, the meta in Major League Baseball for pitchers has drastically changed. You'd be hard pressed to find a team in the league that doesn't have a pitcher with high velocity on his fastball as their starting ace pitcher. A fastball that not only exceeds 95 plus miles an hour, but has great upwards movement on it and great overall movement onto it in general. For most organizations, this is what they're looking for in high school and in college. Guys that are absolute flamethrowers that they can make starting pitchers and then eventually ace pitchers of their organization. And behind these guys, you'll generally see clubs trying to put two and three guys right behind these in the rotation that have great off-speed stuff that can absolutely paint corners and frustrate batters. They can induce soft contact. And a lot of times, these guys, these two and three guys, outside of their respective local markets they don't get very much love from the national media but there is one guy down there in houston that is contending for the ace pitcher spot that guy is one mr framber valdez framber valdez coming out of the dominican republic would make his debut versus seattle back in august 21st 2018 from go four and a third innings allow two hits four strikeouts allow no runs and walk one batter in a win it was at this moment the astros knew they might have something special here now framber valdez wouldn't get his true chance to prove what he's got until 2021 because of the simple fact that the Astros had so much talent between 2018 and 2020 on the roster. Guys like Garrett Cole, Zach Granke, Justin Verlander, Lance McCullers, Charlie Morton, the list goes on. In 2021, would Frommer would finally get his chance. He didn't squander it. Frommer Valdez would post an 11-6 record with a 3.14 ERA out of 22 games started, 134 innings, 125 strikeouts, but the kicker is he'd lead the entire league league and ground out at an insane clip of over 70 percent here i'll put the chart up for you right now so you can see exactly what he did last year so coming into the 2022 season fromber was looking to capitalize on his amazing 2021 campaign and that he has so far posting a 73 record a 2.78 era out of 13 games started one complete game 81 innings pitched 68 strikeouts and you guessed it a 68 percent ground ball percentage on all his outs from Valdez for the second year in a row is leading the major leagues in ground ball outs. It feels weird to say it, but once this season's over, From Valdez may take over the ace role for this team. Justin Verlander may very well be on his way to opting out of that player option that he has for this offseason. And if he does, that ace pitcher spot is wide open for the taking. And right now, it looks like From Valdez is the clear cut for it right now. Now, in mentioning his ridiculous ground ball out percentage, we need to to also talk about something else. That something else is Framber Valdez's unbelievable curveball. In an interview done with Mike Trout, Mike Trout was asked about Framber Valdez, and Trout simply said, Framber's got the best curveball I've ever played against, or at least one of the best ones I've ever played against. And Mike Trout is absolutely correct on this. Framber Valdez has not only one of the most elite curveballs in the league, but with the spin and the drop on it, it makes it one of the hardest pitches to hit in the league. Kind of like Kevin Gossman and his splitter, or Justin Verlander in his turbo slider whenever it's hitting the spot. It's just unbelievable how hard it is to actually hit that curveball. You see, Framber Valdez has four pitches in his arsenal that he calls upon whenever he's pitching, and an occasional fifth and a four seam fastball. He's got a sinker, a curveball, a changeup, and a cutter. As you can see, none of these pitches has overwhelming velocity on them. But Framber Valdez has been able to maximize these pitches and the velocity that he has into tricking hitters into swinging early and getting on top of balls, which has been tremendous in inducing weak contact and making ground out plays and double plays Fromber's bread and butter. You see, it's not very often or very common that guys like this become starting ace pitchers in the league nowadays because it goes against the meta of what teams try to build around, what teams try to put in their starting rotation as their ace pitcher. It's pretty crazy to think a guy like Fromber Valdez would replace a all-star Hall of Fame pitcher such as Justin Verlander in the upcoming few seasons. But it is a very real possibility that Fromber Valdez becomes the ace pitcher of the Houston Astros in the following few seasons, if not next season, and becomes one of the more elite pitchers in the league. But anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Glad to see all the support on the channel here lately. Don't forget to like the video if you haven't already and subscribe to the channel if you are new because I have plenty of baseball content like this. I always appreciate it whenever y'all check out more videos on the channel. And I appreciate all the support, like I said again. I'm going to get on out of here, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Adios, me, amigos. Hey, uh Thank you, thank you for rocking out tonight. You could be anywhere in the world. You right here. I got my special guest. Tyler Lee, man. Yeah, you bringing this
soul, you from the Keystone State. Shout out to the Empire State. So we run the entire state.